Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do uh, fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sag, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. Personal reads are over on Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 or you could book, um, you could request a book over on my website and I'll get back to you. Um, if you do uh, purchase a read or merch, um, through Venmo. I just have to ask you guys a favor. Please don't hit that um, the uh, product button. It takes a percentage uh, from me. Um, so I don't want to have to up my rates. I want to keep my rates reasonable. But if I see more people hitting that, uh, that goods button, Venmo takes a, you know, they make, they make money from it. So I don't want to have to hire the prices. So make sure that if you don't click that, um, trust that I will come through and you will get your read. All right. Um, you don't have to be a fire sign for this read to resonate with you. And I did talk a little dirty. And I may be pulling some sexy time cards, which have nudity in them. So if you get offended by that, just find your way out of the read at that point. Make sure to follow over here and on TikTok, Jesse uh, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. And I'm also on Instagram. The more places you follow, the easier for me to pull on your energy. All right. So what do the fire signs or the viewer need to hear for their higher good for the week? For this week. And all my reads are timeless. So whenever you find one, it's meant for you. All right. I, I feel like you guys are in magician energy. Meaning I think you're trying to manifest all of your heart's desires, trying to figure out how to bring your abundance into you. All right. Might be into in uh, some contemplation of where to go next. I think a lot of you are very talented in your energy. Yeah, there you go. All right. So you guys are in your responsibilities, holding on to a lot of responsibilities with the Ten of Wands. Okay. So you have a lot of things going on right now. It does show that you are claiming victory here with the Six of Wands. Claiming victory. So you're going to be victorious in what you're, where you're choosing to put your time and attention to. The star card. Oh, shit. So you're, you're healing some shit in your life. You're getting your life together. right? You're getting your life together. And you're rising. You're rising because now you are focused on you. Prioritizing yourself. And seeing yourself as a very valuable person. So you, you putting out this energy that you are feeling um, that you've, you've healed some things, you are attracting, you're now able to attract this victory into you. Now that you've poured away some things, now that you've detached from some people or situations. Nice. You're going towards a more restful state of mind. Less stress. You're probably sleeping a little bit better now. Even though you have a lot of responsibility here, I think you, you've dropped some of your responsibilities, right? You had 10, you had 10 of wands to now having the six of wands. So you're four wands down. So you've, you've released some shit in your life people, places, and things, dropping some of that heaviness, dropping the responsibility of other, other people, job opportunities, toxic people, whatever you're dropping, showing that you're regaining a, a more peaceful state of mind here. Really nice. All right, I like to see it. Yeah, there was tower moments. You were having a lot of tower moments. Your foundation was shattered. 
could have recently moved out of a house or apartment, separated. Someone could have just been throwing shade your way, constantly throwing you in um, negativity with the tower. Could be an Aries dealing with, that could be you, Aquarius. Wow. You are becoming the emperor regardless of gender. You're becoming more mature in your energy. <clears throat> You're well liked. I think you guys, a lot of people like your energy. A lot of people like your sternness. A lot of uh, people may ask you for advice. You could own your own business, be an entrepreneur. Um, you're coming up really strong, very strong, very intelligent. Could be an Aries, heavy Aries. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight of cups, you've turned. I just got these cards and I'm not good with the numbers. So eight of cups, you've turned your back away from anything that doesn't serve your higher purpose and you're looking towards things that will uh, show investment in you, that feel good to you. So you're only going after things that make you feel good. Eight, nine, yeah. So you go from the eight of cups to the nine of cups. So the eight of cups to the nine of cups, you're gaining a cup. You're gaining, you're gaining something new, something different. You have celebrations coming in. Celebrations, you're gonna feel more um, fulfilled in your energy, more smug, more smug with where you're going. Wow, nice. You could be meditating more. You could be taking time out to just do something for you and no one else. Wow, I like it. So this read is going a little bit different than normal, but I feel that <coughs> this is about you. This is all about you. Um, really becoming in your own energy. I feel like you are single. I do feel like you are a single energy here. We'll see. I know you guys want to hear about your people, but I, I, I just feel like hmm, it's all about you now. It's all about you. Focus is on you. Ace of Wands is on you. Four, uh, four of Swords. Again, this is not even supposed to be in here. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's all about you. You becoming passionate about what you're, you're uh, driven to do, your path. You're getting on your path now, understanding what, what drives you forward. So the Ace of Wands, this is all fire energy, all sacral energy, solar plexus energy. I lit the solar plexus uh, Palo Santo for you because you're feeling, uh, I think your guys are feeling more empowered in your energy, feeling more confident in, in your energy and releasing uh, some anger, some anger or resent that you've been holding on to. You could have a history of having stomach issues due to whatever you, you've dealt with, whoever you've dealt with, the toxicity that has been around you, it's attached, it, it attached itself to you and um, With the star card, you're now understanding that you needed to heal some aspects of yourself because whatever you were dealing with was because of you, because of what you were projecting out, how you feel about yourself is what you would attract into you. So you had a lot of burden, you had a lot of drama with the, the tower, uh, a lot of chaos, but you're saying no more. Four of Swords, taking on a more relaxed energy, 
and going for new passionate beginnings somewhere else. Now I feel like there's passionate beginnings with the soulmates come. Look at this, two of cups. You have a soulmate coming in. You have someone that is able to uh, see you on a soul level. You, you may uh, be able to have telepathy with this person. You're seeing eye to eye. You're seeing eye to eye with someone that shows a lot of passion in you. They, this one wants to feed into you. The same. Meeting on the same playing field. Nice. I like it. All right. Let's see who this person is. <clears throat> see. So you are just like, I'm clearing a bitch out. I'm clearing my energy out. No problem. So who's this person coming into? Yeah. You putting your defense down. Maybe in the past you were very defensive and guarded and not allowing uh, your blessings to come in because you've always had to fight. Fight off people. Fight for your emotional fulfillment. Fight for new beginnings. So you, you're healing some insecurities here. Becoming more emotionally fulfilled within your own energy. Ace of Cups, you got the Ace of Cups, you got the Ace of um, Ace of Wands. So you have passion and, and fulfillment coming in. Your cups are gonna uh, start going towards, um, your cup is gonna feel filled up. You're filling your own cup up and there's also somebody else here trying to fill, fill your cup up. Uh, a queen of cups, someone that shows uh, sensitivity, is very loving and caring. They don't mind expressing, they wear their emotions on um, their sleeve. This person is going to be very expressive about um, how they feel for you. They wanna feed into you, they want new beginnings with you. <clears throat> very nice. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still dealing with this shit. So no longer dealing with shit. All right. So you might have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming in. Feed you. Yeah. As soon as you decide to walk away from uh, the indecisiveness, walking away and exploring something else, you gain this person, you gain someone new. You're no longer going to have indecisive energy of where... Uh, your event, you're, you have new adventures. You're taking a hike, <laughs> taking a hike. As I say that, taking a hike, traveling. Could be traveling, making moves, traveling away from a situation, closing out cycles that uh, just don't uh, make you feel good. going towards a commitment also or you just if it's not a commitment yeah i think it's a commitment but some of you guys you're just going towards uh becoming wiser hierophant some of you guys are going to be become um um i think a lot of you guys are the are going to become the hierophant so you're going to be going into a field that you're going to be helping other people you could become a um a counselor uh what is it called um shaman you could want to um take on more of your spiritual path so you guys are elevating in your spirituality becoming wiser and enlightening other people with your energy. So you may be a healer. Maybe you're going to start doing tarot. Maybe uh, you're taking on some type of Reiki, something along the lines of a spiritual, your spiritual path. And also, a lot of you guys are going towards a committed relationship with the lovers. The lovers card here. 
So you could be coming together with a Taurus or a Gemini. Uh, you have this, per this person that's coming in for you. It's a very magnetic connection. <clears throat> you guys just mesh. You guys just get along and it's, it's really a relaxed connection. So I think it's going to be just balance. It's a balanced connection between your fiery nature and this person's emotional, this person's emotional stability that they're going to be bringing you. I think it's going to be really nice, um, really nice connection. <laughs> Someone's taking action. Someone's coming straight towards you gonna have a lot of communication with this person could be a Capricorn <clears throat> so this person has a lot of attraction towards you they think you're a sex kitten or you are just like a stud you're a stud muffin <laughs> they want to get their hands on you see look at this look at this could be a Capricorn with a Gemini placement Look how you guys are just wanting to come together, coming together, possibly being obsessed with each other's bodies, you know, getting nice and close and doing dirty things together. And just like a lot of love energy and you have this, this connection is spiritually guided. The temperance is here, spiritually guided and it's probably been a while um could be a while that you've been waiting on a person like this with the temperance so you've been really patient in allowing uh this this connection to come together you could have recently come out of a third party situation too dealing with maybe you were a third party or you were dealing with the third party but that shit's done <clears throat> now the mental conflict that you've been having that stress that you were in you feeling trapped and not being able to sleep being in your head you know you can't finding direction that's ending that is no more this is a fucking great read. All right, so the Three of Cups is now upright. That's telling me that you have celebrations. You're ne networking, you meet a lot of people. And you're making your dreams come true. Dream big. Dreaming big. Ah, you got another ace. Another ace on the board. So three aces are out on the board. Ace of Pentacles, somebody is offering you a job opportunity, you're investing, um, maybe you're investing your money into uh, things that show stability. Um, there's people that want to help you claim your stability back. So people are putting their hand out to you saying, how can I help you? How can I help you get out of this toxic situation that you were previously in? How can I help unbind you? Ace of Pentacles. So you have a helping hand here. Someone's coming in to give you a helping hand. It could be this, uh, this lover, um, but I think it's several people. I think it's several people, including this person that is coming into you. You could be waiting on an apology from someone that lacked putting the effort or time and work into it. Uh, I, the, nah, I do fit okay so the three of pentacles is in reverse um someone's not wanting to work on a connection not putting the effort you could be getting some communication from that person fast communication comes in uh from a past person that uh, you're no longer working with i think this person is going to try to uh throw some illusions your way they're going to try to um get you off your game this is a past person definitely a past person um that you're no longer reminiscing about you're no longer offering this person any any time or attention or emotions here so whatever they're going to be expressing to you 
is, uh, let's see, the Seven of Cups, what are they? Person had you in a delusional state of mind is dead. It's a dead end. Dead end situation, possibly with a uh, Scorpio earth sign, air sign. Yeah, it's dead. The illusions are now lifted from you. You're no longer taking this person seriously. And you're going towards other options. Death card, seven of cups. All right. So you're no longer living in the shadows. You're coming out. Like it. <clears throat> Let's see what this new person. So you could know this new person already. Um, or this could be a totally brand spanking new person coming into you. So let's see. Where are my cards? Where are my cards? There's my sexy time cards, but where are my love me, love me not oracle deck? We're going to do both, but... Oh, shit. Alright, so you might have to clean up your workplace... Or, you know, your workplace or your house. Might have to organize things a little bit better. Alright. this deck back. Message is coming out really fluid. Very fluid. So things are coming. They're working out for you. I dream about you. So your person might have communicated that they that you're in their dreams. If you do know this person already. I dream about you. I love you. So your person, this person has love for you. You may know this person is in love with you. You may have told this person that you're better off without me. Or you feel like this person is better off without you because you have a lot of, um, you had a lot of toxicity. You had a lot of responsibility that you were holding on to. So maybe, maybe you didn't have room for this person in your life. Um, yeah, maybe you just didn't have room for this person. But look, this person I want to leave towards you. So you may now be opening up to this person. You're, you're now saying, I want to leap towards you. Okay. I had to hide how I feel. So you might have been hiding from this person. This person could have been hiding how they felt for you. I don't think so, though. I think this person was very clear that they dream about you. You're always on their mind. They have love for you. And you just, you couldn't, you couldn't deal with this person. You had too much going on. The person misses your touch. They want to touch you. And they might have said that I need time. I need time to resolve things. Or maybe this is you saying I need to, re I needed to resolve some things in my life. Um, and I need time. But I think that's being reversed. Someone's no longer needing time. They're, they're very, um, very understanding of where they want to go. And if anybody, um, if that past person is trying to uh, come in and say, please forgive me, let's work it out. You're not, you're not working it out. Please forgive me in reverse. So whatever they have to say is not really what they mean. So I think it's like a bullshit energy. Please forgive me in reverse. They're being deceptive. Some, some kind of deception. Not being truthful with you. They're, they don't really feel bad. Alright, sexy time. What's going on with this new person? Yeah. Wow, someone's going to be real blunt with your ass. Real blunt. <laughs> what did I say? I'm good.
I must give myself a pat on the back sometimes. We must pat ourselves on the back sometimes because shit. <laughs> Magnetic connection. What did I tell you about this new person that's coming in or that, that you're close with now? It's a magnetic connection. There's no, there's no denying the con connection that you guys have. This person is wanting, uh, or you, is wanting you to pinch, pinch my nipples. All right. So somebody likes to get a little rough, a little rough in the room, in the bedroom. Pinch my nipples. I mean, like your nipples flicked when you get dirty. And this person, or you, is releasing a karmic partner. Karmic partner is now out of here. There's no more karmic partner. No more chaos. No more lessons to be learned with that past. Uh, no more being attacked. This person is coming in and saying, I think we have a connection. I want to explore it. Tie me up. <laughs> and so they don't mind you taking some control over them. They're bringing in harmony for you. Someone's thinking more logically at this point. I like it with the lights off. All right. So the romance. Romance coming in. They're wanting to wake up to you. Pull my hair, tie me up and pull my hair. Pinch my nipples. I want to caress your body in the dark. They want to get into a dark room with you. Okay. Let's finish out this row. You make me so hard. Oh, shit. So somebody got that hard wand for you. A really wet pussy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm feeling like somebody's a little insecure about their looks. Like they may not think that their their penis is good looking. But they're saying your body is perfection. You don't gotta worry about how you're looking, what your penis looks like, or your your, your punana looks like. Saying your body's perfection. They they love your body. They love your body. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with your, your looks. Oh, you just as an energy, they're obsessed with your energy. You do something to them that nobody else does. You spark, you spark something in them that they're just like goo goo ga ga for you. <laughs> so I don't know, what the, who, how, how, how you look? <laughs> you got some massive, he heavy energy. Oh, twin flame. So it could be a twin flame connection for you guys. Some of you, not all. Take what resonates for you. Wow, this, this is a great read. I like how you're taking the initiative. You're taking life by its balls and you're running with it and you're becoming better. All around better. You, you're gonna feel more satisfied in your life now things may be fast paced right now you may be really busy with a lot of responsibilities but it's it you're going to be satisfied with uh what you're being handed at this point i've been channeling a lot um but i'm liking it so i hope you guys are liking uh me being able to get into the energy a little bit deeper okay <clears throat> all right let's get some initials see a little bit more clarity but you have a choice you have a choice on who you wanting to uh, be your lover who you're wanting near you who you're choosing okay let's see J E you guys see the initials J-E-S. All right, so your name could be Jess, Jessica, Jesse, or your person, Peter. You may have two pets. You guys make a good duo. You guys have good, uh, 
you guys are coming together as a team with this person a duo so you may be collaborating with this person um, you can know this person three years could be 23 32 March 2nd February 3rd Arizona you could be looking into some uh, real estate in Arizona or wanting to go out there traveling out there excuse me NR NR something wasn't right something had to change in your life uh, KP PK ZN New Zealand R N A Z T E P D B D B You're just over the bullshit. Someone's birthday could have recently passed. Um that Capricorn eight years someone wasn't giving enough here someone is giving sense you weren't be given you weren't giving enough they weren't giving enough 38 <clears throat> could play the violin or uh, like music uh, there's there's a different perspective here your perspective is changing. You're becoming more positive in your energy, more secure in your energy. August 3rd could be your birth date. March 8th. You got what a bod on you. Well, your person got some nice, nice body. Uggs. You can wear Uggs. Someone was a piece of shit to you. Bottom line, they were a piece of shit to you. They didn't give two cents they didn't give two shits they were for themselves you could have given this person a topaz ring maybe this person gave you a topaz ring <clears throat> topaz or that could resemble their um their birth stone erin getting urn you could have uh, someone that passed recently. Kenneth. You may have to change your soap. If you're having like skin issues, changing soap, date of birth. You could fill, be filling out applications. Ow. Uh, Gomez Gonzalez <clears throat> could be their name last name first name Pez you could be <clears throat> Pakistani wow <clears throat> I'm losing my voice shock <clears throat> throat chakra someone has a hard time expressing Pasquale <clears throat> All right, let's pick two more. Oh. Oh, so much for two more. M M M W. You could be in um, M M M M A <clears throat> martial arts. Okay, mom. Something could be happening with your mom. Mom, mom, what's going on? Studio, you could be looking into a studio apartment in Connecticut. W, your mom's name could have a W in it. Kenya. Okay. Any 
Anything else? Cynthia? Kansas? Okay. Anything else? That's it. That's what I got. Okay, so the letters W M O M D O B K E S O J E S T D U O C G N Z Z P A U R N you could be a nurse also H X sense 83 could be the birth the, the birth year 32 22 23 March 2nd 2002 something might have happened during that time with you CPAP somebody could have sleep um uh, sleep apnea COPD congestive what is that COPD COPD congestive congestion in the heart maybe is that what that is you tell me Arizona is sticking out for me so I don't know if you guys are looking to go somewhere warm or start something out in the west phoenix even phoenix arizona just got that hit biola something's going on with <clears throat> someone something's going on with the mom thrown away from conflict maybe your mom is protecting you your mom is um, sticking up for you yeah helping financially possibly giving somebody's gonna be giving something to you some pentacles helping you helping you roll away towards something better Knight of Cups, because they love you, they care about you. So you have you have people around you helping you out of a difficult time. Let me see something here. All right. Somebody may be getting a, uh, a gun permit. Oh, shit. Gun permit. GD. All right. GD. Yeah, I think you guys are coming out of a committed relationship. Engagement is in reverse. Finances and career. This is where you're, you're taking your time and attention. You have financial issues. Uh, are a factor in your love life. Yeah, you're coming out of um, a higher level of commitment. Okay, sorry, I um, storage is full again. These reeds take up a lot of uh, storage. Uh, so where I left off was, um, where was it? Okay, so your financial issues are affecting your love life. And you could be um, separating, uh, separating your um, finances with a past person. Um, that connection probably no longer works due to not having enough chemistry with one another, not having enough traction for one another. Uh, the unrequited love card came out. Uh, and also the reconciliation card came out which was in reverse so there's no longer going to be reconciliation with that past person and you you have new love that new love is um, approaching so a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and they this new connection is coming in without any deception 
things aren't going to be uh, hidden. The person's not going to be uh, deceitful. All right. <clears throat> it's looking good for you fire signs. All right. So coming more knowledgeable. I, I feel like you guys are going to learn some new things. You're picking up some new talents or you're expanding your talent. Maybe you're becoming a little bit more expressive. You're communicating or you're needing to communicate a little bit better. You, uh, you've been silent for a very long time, possibly. You're getting into a different rhythm of life. You're going towards a, a higher vibration with sound. What did I say, violin? That's not a violin, that's a cello, right? Cello? Close enough for me. It's in the same, it's a string. It's a stringing instrument. So somebody plays a string instrument. And if you don't play a string instrument, you like um, you like orchestra music. There's actually a song that, I'm gonna attach it to this. There's a song that came to me last night and it had a lot of these instruments in it. So I think that song may be for some of you. I'm gonna add it below. It's gonna say, listen, in the description, I'll add it. So working on your, uh, your throat chakra. Yep, big time, big time. Work on that, meditate on your throat chakra. Being blunt, being blunt, maybe you are already blunt with your communication. You could be blunt with your communication, but you haven't been blunt with your emotions, your self-expression, your, your exchange of love energy, sharing. Maybe you have, guys have a hard time sharing your emotions and it's saying it's time to communicate that. Whatever, you know, you, what you feel is valid. Uh, so accepting what you're feeling and expressing that outwardly to others. So you got that twice. So definitely work on that, that throat chakra a bit. <laughs> definitely work on that throat chakra. Because three times. But this is creativity. You're bursting out in creativity. You're using your imagination. You're using your expression to create some type of newness to your life, some type of art. You're becoming passionate. You have originality about you. Like it. Good. Very good. There's a solar plexus energy. Personal, personal boundaries. Yep. Yes. Personal boundaries. Being assertive in what you need. Making a choice. Empowerment. What did I say? You're going towards empowerment. You're living your authentic life now. Authenticity. You were held back. You had stacks and stacks of years of uh, being cut down or being a, um, being a product of your environment. You are a product of your environment. And you no longer need to hold on to being a product of your past environment. You're, you're now uh, crawling out of this haystack, right? Crawling out of the haystack and standing tall. No longer having other people dictate what your life should be. And no longer living in your... Uh, your old belief system. So you're setting boundaries for yourself. It's looking good. All right, self-care. What you could do to help higher your frequency. Get yourself feel, feeling better. I think you guys are already going towards feeling better, to be honest. Connect with your ancestors. You see, you guys are becoming more uh, enlightened. Enlightened intuition. You're using your intuition. You're uh, being guided to go within yourself and uh, going into yourself and becoming more spiritual and possibly looking 
towards your spirit guides to direct you. Your ancestors, your past ancestors are speaking to you. They're saying it's time to heal. It's time to grow. It's time to become a star. You're becoming a star. By using your intuition and allowing your ancestors to guide you. You need to clear out your energy field, which I feel that you guys are doing. Clearing out your energy field, doing your cleansing baths, um, using sage, palo santo, lavender, whatever you're wanting to use. You're clearing it out. And this is not just you clearing it out by doing... Um, your spiritual cleansing but this is clearing out your energy field of the negativity the negative people the toxic people and toxic environments that you've placed yourself in so clearing away anything that is pulling uh pulling you down or attacking you you're releasing it you're needing to release it all right that's what i have okay so i hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation I do appreciate donations and I do accept donations. I have an Amazon wish list over on my Linktree link. I also um, do chakra healing attention candles. One candle is a $5 donation. The seven uh, chakra alignment is 25. That helps your energy uh, to get back into alignment. I also send you a uh, seven chakra meditation to do along with me uh, putting my positive healing intention into the candle being sent to you um, I have a lot of merch over on my website I have little protection jars I have large protection jars you, you pick out your Savortsky crystal and your charms there's uh, three different layers of salt in there for toxicity and protection and clarity these are the mini protection jars uh, those are limited. I have sweatshirts, t-shirts. I have the Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck on my website, which is 40 free shipping, and my Sexy Time Oracle deck, which is also 40 and free shipping. And I'll be adding more, more things on there. I do cord cutting. Um, and all of the candle work is for your energy and your energy only. Um, all right. And that's what I got looking good you have messages of love love is approaching you feeling good in your energy is approaching so keep yourself in high regard i'll see you on the other side next up is going to be water signs all right have a great one day great day guys bye